When you think of the automotive industry, obvious places come to mind like Detroit and of course Lansing. You know, one man is out to change that and put the spotlight on another mid-Michigan city with a deep and rich automobile history. News 10's Kirk Montgomery shares his story. Ted O'Dell's love of cars began at an early age. Here he is in his 1966 Mustang as a junior in high school. He still owns that car. This is a 1913 Carter car. And a few more. The, the most interesting fact about this car. He is a walking encyclopedia of all things cars, and he wants to bring a light to a piece of automotive history many don't know. I'm trying to preserve, protect, and promote Jackson's automotive heritage. That's right, Jackson's heritage. While today we usually think of the big three, it wasn't always that way. In fact, between 1894 and 1930, there was more than 1,800 automobile manufacturers in the United States. The fascinating thing is, at the beginning of the 20th century, Jackson was mass producing 24 automobiles. 24 automobiles makes models, electric cars, combustible engine cars, cars without transmissions, cars that ran on a, on a, um, a different system. It was just incredible. They, uh, amazing what went on here a hundred years ago. So the gears were set into motion for the Hackett Auto Museum. Once the museum is open, it'll be sort of open air. So when you walk in, you'll be able to look and see the entire collection at one time. With the exception of right behind me here, we'll build a uh, facade of Henry Ford's okay. Mack Avenue factory, okay. which was his first plant in Detroit, uh, first assembly plant. And the reason, because, the reason for that is because we have the uh, original city of Detroit light pole that oh, stood in okay. front of that plant. With the help of investors, grants, and private donations, this dilapidated building will soon become a museum filled with everything automobiles, many from his own collection over the years. Do you think the average person who lives in mid-Michigan has any idea of the history of the automobile here? Uh, I don't think so because uh, in Michigan in general, when you talk about the car industry, mm -hmm. it's always Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. The museum will also be a venue available for private events. He hopes it will fuel interest in Jackson's role in the auto industry. Uh, what we did is we put together a foundation called the Horace and Mabel Hackett Foundation. And the reason we call it the Hackett Foundation is because Hackett automobiles were made in this uh, facility. A vision that is ready to shift into high gear. Kirk Montgomery, News 10. Now the Hackett Auto Museum is scheduled to open up next spring. We'll show you around inside when that happens. We have some breaking